Okay, uh, so Interrobang. Um, and your tag's still B, right? Yeah. Put it down. Okay. I'll take my take my spot. Survival. Welcome to that Monday Meltdown 64. This is winners round one between Intero Bang and an old friend B. The matchup at hand we've got Ryu versus Peach on Lilac. So this is going to be a very interesting matchup on this stage. Um, both characters will have the tendency to be lilated, especially Ryu, but more uh, less so Peach due to her floating capabilities. And just as we said, he instantly gets lilated and Peach is there with the disrespect. As for the actually the actual fighting matchup, Peach is gonna suffer from Ryu very strong hits because she is extremely light. So Wu actually dies to something like I show you quite early. On the other hand, she will be able to maneuver around Ryu quite effectively with her floats and float cancels. However, she might struggle to, to deal with focus attacks because she doesn't have many. Um, she doesn't have any rapid hitting moves unless she uses a turnip and then follows up after the turnip upon the focus attack. So far though, B is off to a strong full stock lead and the terror bank is already on high percent and that turnip is going to stop him being able to recover and now he is two stocks down. Ooh, well she does have there so there actually would be able to to clean up focus attack. That's her main good probably could be her main go to option in this matchup. So far though it's looking quite tough for Interrobank. You, you cancel that focus attack too early and go straight to the turnip. Up uh, side tilt. Where he catches the turnip. And <laughs> straight into a counter and it's looking very grim for Interrobank right now. We're holding onto this stock but I'm not sure really do anything in this situation. That up smash does a lot of shield damage and there it is the Shoryuken is destroying Peach right off the top. <laughs> but I mean as bleak as it looks who knows what Rage Ryu can do to Sheik. We might be able to get some serious combo started oh, but here there is a really bad situation now. The Z drop he's managing to get back to stage. There is B with her amazing edge guards, daring it. <laughs> a bit of technical flub there. Doesn't manage to get that punish, but that turnip is going to seal the deal, isn't it? Oh no, no, no! He manages to come back, and he's going to die to a side at 207%. And very quickly, B takes game one. That Monday, 60, uh, that Monday Meltdown 64, we're going straight into game two of Winners Round 1. We're keeping the matchup the same, but for Intero Bank's counter pick, we have gone to Smashville. So on a stage like Smashville, Peach will be dying quite early to the size. However, this is not 
is notoriously a quite a good peach stage as well due to the impact of Bear to take early stocks. Let's see how Interrobank uses this counter pick to his advantage. And he's got the strings going. Doesn't manage to follow up though. <laughs> With the gloves on the part of both of them. Up air. Interrobank utilizing empty hops to try and force B into running into one of his box, his boxes there. There's a down tilt, doesn't manage to follow up with that. Ooh, very, very patient waiting on his own bang. Unfortunately, he doesn't manage to get the show you can follow up. And out of shield, he's going to get that very powerful can hit on Peach, and that's definitely going to kill, especially with Rage. He manages to take the first stop, showing that maybe Lilac was just a fluke. And the back row. Oh! He just doesn't manage to avoid that charged fighting pan. Please bring it straight e even. Well, it's not melee. That down smash isn't going to do about 40%. <laughs> but still, it's not exactly possible to get out of it in this game. Ooh, went very, very aggressive for that running grab. And there's the focus attack, but it manages to get shielded. It does a lot of shield damage. So one or more of those will definitely break the shield. We're keeping it fairly even. They seem to be just trading blows, knocking each other left and right right now. No one's really picking up any momentum over the other. Oh, it's very scary empty hops from uh, Interrobang at the ledge. Because of the threat of Bear, Peach can't really be committing to anything dangerous. Oh, managed to get the dead edge guards. Interrobang playing. Oh, very, very good weight by Interrobank there. Baiting out the fair from Peach and just standing still and completely show you can show you. I hate saying that word. Right off the top of the stage. Looks like he's going to try his best to bring this to a game three. And here he goes off with the strings. Wow, really interesting option there. Still living for that bear. Even it up right away. Not letting the Turban get too much of a lead. Very scary shield at the moment. Down throw. Side tilt. There. Good free hit string. Down throw. Bear. Strings are continuing. Turban being very patient now. Woo! Oh, he really wanted that to hit. Yeah, I can really tell in the way he flicked his controller. Oh no, is it over? Oh no, he's still living. He's still living. Tomobank's not going to get gimped this early. Oh, he lets go of shield prematurely and the dash second hit of dash attack does connect. He's in a really tough situation now. This edge guard, there's the net. He was put into a very bad flip animation, but there's the fair for B. And that, with a handshake and a smile, is going to end 2-0 to B.